we had on Sunday, we had eight people coming here. Four came from Israel and four came from South Africa. And since then, we are trying to uh, offer our help to the Ethiopian government um, uh, to help extracting and finding the findings in the crash site and also to help uh, with identifying the body parts uh, in the, in the um, place that they are keeping all the, all the uh, findings from the crash sites. Everything is uh, now in a hangar in uh, the cargo area of Bole Airport. Uh, also over there we are uh, offering our uh, help, uh, but still until now uh, we didn't got the help. Uh, also, this is an official team uh, sent by uh, the Israeli Prime Minister, Mr. Benjamin Netanyahu. Our guess is that they will start identifying uh, bodies uh, tomorrow and they will start uh, taking DNA tests from the uh, remains and from the family members that are arrived to Addis. Uh, they will send it to a laboratory in uh, the UK for uh, the, the DNA test because uh, the, this capability is not uh, available here. Although we also suggested to uh, the Ethiopian authorities uh, to send a specializing forensic, a forensic team uh, from Israeli police, again, uh, an official team sent by Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu uh, with a very unique a technology and capability of a DNA laboratory, mobile laboratory, that will be here outside the hangar uh, in the uh, Bole airport and allow us to, to do the tests and to give answers on the spot instead of sending them to the UK. And so far we are waiting again for the uh, uh, answers of the Ethiopian authorities to accept our offer. Thank you.